Hello gamers, Main Jammer here for another edition of tonight on Main Jammer's Game Table, where tonight I'm continuing my series of my Four Dice Fantasy run-throughs using friend of the channel Bob's Designs. Uh, last episode I was in, I did three uh, delves for um, these particular heroes. Uh, these three have survived three delves, and this character slot keeps getting filled by <laughs> new designs as they die in the dungeons. <laughs> That's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, but this time we're moving into the fourth delve, which will add a third henchman. And uh, we'll see where their dungeon delving takes them and see who can survive and who doesn't. Now, the design of the game usually with these experience point tokens, it becomes easier and easier for characters to survive, which I guess technically makes sense since they become more experienced. Um, but we'll see. It's still a challenge, I think. So we have three, ha uh, three leaders and three uh, hazards. And now each of the characters will roll an encounter roll. Because these hazards can be creatures or uh, traps or something, but usually the leaders I consider creatures. But game design wise, it doesn't absolutely matter. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Hmm. The War Makana is going to save that uh, reroll for his save roll, not his account roll in this case, I think. Um, Samurai can switch its die to something, but right now it's defeating something, so that's good. Unless it takes it down to a five. Ninja didn't roll a six, and the monk can reduce any leader or encounter by one. Hmm. Looks like they're gonna. Mm. Wow. Okay. I guess the samurai got to use his ability so that we can create a double to get at least rid of at least another minion. So one will defeat one. Doubles will defeat another one of the ones, and that's it <laughs> all right so they have to make two saves because there's a leader left plus the ha other hazards and right out of the gate the monk and the samurai both oh i forgot they have magic weapons they can reroll and counter roll okay remember that for this next roll up these these two will use um experience point tokens to reroll and they both uh through the experience uh, are saved all right so now, uh, going yet into another encounter roll. All right, well, they're getting rid of the minion. I think they'll keep it that way. The samurai is defeating one as well, but you know what? So is this one. So the samurai is actually going to use his magical sword to re-roll, which came up a five. Hmm, didn't really help that much. It's not too bad, though. Let's see. The monk... Yeah, no. Okay. So, yeah, we'll go with this. One defeats a one. Doubles defeats a six. Three defeats a three. There's one minion left. They all have to make one save this time. Did I make two saves last time? Uh, did I? Let's make the second save now. All good. And now we'll make this save here because I don't think I did. All right, so they all save. So once more into the encounter roll. And uh, doubles defeats the final minion. They each receive a loot token. And we move on into the second level of this delve. Delve four. Set all the leaders to the number of the level of the delve. And boom. All right. So reset abilities. They all got their tokens. Reset his weapon. And here we go. Okay, so the ninjas is working pretty well. Uh, looks like, yeah, it looks like we're gonna, uh, I guess, I guess the ninja, uh, no, the ninja doesn't want to re-roll. The monk could re-roll. No, the monk's defeating something, so is it, do I want to defeat him? Yeah, we're just going to go with what we got here. Doubles will defeat one of the uh, leaders. This two will defeat another leader. This six will defeat this six. And this five will defeat this five. So they have to make two saves. First save. Um, the monk must use an experience point token to re-roll. Second save. All right, good. And now encounter roll. Woo! Look at 
that role. Um, well, the samurai, oh, the ninja, the ninja automatically takes out the leader and cannot be counted for doubles. There you go. And then these doubles take that out. We use the ninja's assassinate ability. Nice. All right. Everybody gets a token. One, two, three, four. Building up for the next delve if they survive. All right. Going into the third level of the delve. What will they find? We shall see. Hmm. One, two, four. Counter rolls. Oof. Ooh, that's an interesting roll. Uh, not liking that. Well, two doubles. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Some thinking is called for here. I think I'm going to go for it. Uh, Samurai is going to use his weapon to re-roll. Ooh, that paid off. Not really. <laughs> Did not pay off. Uh, he is going to increase his ability to three, though. That'll help take out one of them. Okay, so Samurai is very active this turn. The monk can turn one of them down to a two. So he's going to do that with his martial arts. And um, the ninja... The ninja could re-roll with his weapon. So we're going to do that. Did not help. Actually, maybe a little bit worse. Okay. So three defeats a three, two defeats a two. We don't have doubles anymore. And one defeats a one. So there's two saves everybody has to make. So first save, everybody's fine. Second save, everybody's fine. Encounter roll. All right, so... Um, the monk is going to re-roll with his magical brass knuckles. Well, that worked out. Three defeats three, punches him with his brass knuckles, and then they take out this hazard with a two and doubles. All right, so now, since this is the third level of the delve, we see if there's a magic item. And yes, the monk finds a magic item, and it is a potion. So he finds a potion, reset their weapons, and uh, everybody else gets a treasure token, loot token, so three loot tokens. Okay. Into the fourth level of this delve. Let's see what they can find. All right. They have hazards to overcome. Encounter rolls. Whew. That's pretty good. All right. So they're gonna defeat all of the um and defeat all of the leaders. So four and four defeat a four. Um doubles defeats a four. This doubles defeats a five, and that six defeats a six. I would I use the ninja for doubles instead of its ability. And they everybody has to make one save. Oh my goodness. Alright, so the war mechana is gonna use his ability to re-roll. And he's fine. And this ninja is going to use an experience point token to uh, re-roll and makes it. Okay. Encounter roll. All right. Doubles defeats the final one. Woo. Okay. So they all receive a loot token. One, two, three, four. And now they go into the fifth level of the delve. What? Will they find there amongst its hazards? Probably loot. All right, there we go. There's the roll for the minions. And reset abilities and encounter rolls. Whew, okay, so. All right, not terrible, not terrible. Um, Ninja's going to re-roll to see if he can get doubles or a five. Hmm, not quite. And the samurai is keeping his, and the monk is keeping his. Technically, the war makana could make the roll to save himself, or to uh, redo his roll. But uh, he's going to save it for a save, because saves, you know, are very important. So I guess we're just going to apply what we have here. 
So doubles defeats a leader, five defeats a leader, three defeats a three. Okay, so they have two saves they have to make. First save, good. Second save, the monk uh, is going to use his final experience point to re-roll. And now he needs to use his potion to re-roll. And he does. All right. That was two saves. Oh, why can't I remember these things? I was so focused on the abilities. You know what? I'll make another save just to be safe. Okay. Now, encounter roll. Five defeats of five. What are our abilities can we do here? It's going to make this into a one. Or wait, changes his down to one. And then the monk can trick this one down to a four. And be defeated by the ninja. Teamwork. All right, they each get a loot token. And now they go into the final level of this delve where the true dangers exist. Reset magic weapons and abilities. And let's see what we can see. Encounter roll. Hmm. Not great. So the samurai is going to use his weapon to re-roll. Still not great. And he's going to use his encounter the ability to turn us to a four. The monk is going to re-roll using his magical brass knuckles. Still not great. And I guess the ninja is going to keep... Oh, man, this is going to be ugly. Okay, so doubles defeats one of the leaders. And a four defeats a four, and that's it. They have to make three saves. One save. Two save. The samurai has to use experience point token. Oh, almost died. <laughs> and three save. All right. Now... Encounter roll. Okay. Man, this last level's proving to be difficult for this party. The ninja is going to try to re use his weapon to re roll and gets the same result, which happens more often than you would think. Oh, man. Wow. They're like, they're defeating one thing. I mean, the ninja could use it. He's going to use experience point token to re-roll his roll. It's risky, but he's going to do it. And it pays off. So he kills one of the leaders. Um, it doesn't count as a double six, but still counts as a six, I would assume. Or no, wait, not a double six. Maybe that's what he means by that. I wonder, what do you mean by that, Bob? Like, do you mean it doesn't count when it doubles with other sixes? Or it can't be used... To, yeah, it can't be used again to defeat something else. Okay, anyway, so defeated a, a leader... Even though it, it it doesn't matter if it matched, just in this case it ended up matching and they get rid of one of the minions. So now they have to make two saves. One save. Oh no. The ninja paid the price. Two saves. All right. Whew. All right. So encounter roll. Wow. Um, wow. They're going to have to make a save. Unless, I, unless the ninja gets lucky and rolls something that matches something. Or the War Makana. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to go. I'm going to play risky. Rerolls at a four. Yes! That did it. Yes. So the doubles defeat the six and the four defeats the four. Wow, that really paid off using an experience point token in that manner. All right, let's see if they get any uh, magic items. Whoa, two of them get magic items. The monk and the ninja. And the ninja gets yet another weapon that he will give to the War Makana. And the monk gets a potion that will carry over into the next delve. Woo! That was close. That'll teach me to talk about what happens when you have a lot of experience point tokens. I mean, they did survive, but wow, that was close. So now, the War Makana gets one experience point, and they all have four experience points. Because they have now survived... Four delves. Going into the fifth delve. The 
fifth delve still has three minion or three leaders. Uh, the sixth delve will end up having th four. So for now, oh wait, in between two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. They're gonna buy two potions of that because those are those are for saves. Everybody has a weapon, which you know they can have multiple weapons and use them multiple times. However. I think it would be better for them to have two potions because they're a little, I mean, they have these experience point tokens. So we'll give them potions too. So 12 and 12, they bought two potions. I'm going to try that strategy and see how that plays out. Okay, cool. And so they have four in the loot area. All right. So they, they head into another delve, tracking down an evil to try to defeat it. All right, encounter roll. Hmm. Need to get rid of those leaders. So, the ninja is going to use his weapon, his magical sword. Yeah, there you go. That's good. That's really good. Okay. And then the samurai is also going to reroll using his weapon. Uh, Could have been better. The monk is going to not do anything in the War Mechana. The War Mechana is going to keep his role. Okay, so doubles defeats a, a leader, one defeats a leader, the ninja single-handedly, and a five defeats a minion. They have to make two saves. So, one save, two saves. Oof. All right, so the ninja and the monk are going to use experience point tokens to reroll those saves. Okay, they're good. Now we move into encounters. Interesting rolls. Interesting rolls. All right, the monk is going to... That's only minus one. The samurai... You know what? The samurai is going to turn his die down one, which will create... Yeah, that'll do it. So doubles defeats this one. This one defeats this one. This three defeats that three. Okay, they each get a loot token. Two, three, four. And on to the second level of this... Fifth delve. Okay. Second level. All right. Reset weapons and abilities. Roll the minions. We got rolled. Encounter roll. Woo! That's a lot of big numbers for a lower level delve. Hmm. Not great. Uh, Samurai's going to use his weapon to re-roll. I know I'm getting doubles, but... Uh, and then he's going to use his ability to turn down to two. The monk is going to turn... Nothing. Ninja's ability. War kind of... The ninja could re-roll. The, nin uh, the ninja's defeating somebody, though. The person needs to re-roll. He'll use his uh, things as the monk. And that worked out perfectly. Okay, so two and two, both defeated two, doubles defeats one of the other leaders, five and four. There's still one minion left, but that means only one save. And everybody makes that save comfortably. And counter roll, three defeats a three. So the monk comes in and punches out that hazard. All right, so reset. And everybody gets four loot tokens. Two, three, four. Okay. On to the third level. Third level of the fifth delve. Can track those delves with this, I guess. We're on the fifth delve, so I don't lose track. All right. Oof. Well, full house here. All right, so. Counter roll. All right, so the samurai is going to use his weapon to re-roll. I didn't reset those weapons. I should have, so he's going to re-roll. All right, creates doubles at least. Yeah, he's going to he's going to turn himself up to a three. There we go. That's good. And the monk is going to use his ability to turn his other leader down to a two. And the monk is also going to use his brass knuckles to re-roll. 
All right, so um, each three and two doubles defeats a six. They have to make one save. Oof, so the Warmakana and the Samurai. The Warmakana's gonna use his ability to reroll his save, and he's fine. And the Samurai will use an experience point token to make his save, and he's fine. Okay, reset, uh, no, no reset yet, still have minions. So they go in, three defeats a three, doubles defeats a six, boom. All right, since that is the third level of the delve, we'll check to see if anybody gets a magic item. Nobody gets a magic item, so they get four more loot tokens. Then reset weapons and abilities. And we go into the uh, fourth level of this fifth delve. Wow, okay. And encounter rolls. Whew. Hmm. Samurai is going to keep his. Ninja kills. Uh, don't count as double six. So, so I, I guess that means it just kills a leader specifically and does not get used to take this out. That's what I'm going to assume you mean by a bomb. You can clarify. So the ninja's ability takes over. Um, War Mechan is going to use his uh, weapon to re-roll. That turned out okay, because, well, does that mean it doesn't create doubles? Don't count as double six. Yeah, don't use, use it twice. Hmm. All right, I'm not going to count it at all with anybody else because he's on his own. He's solo, so he doesn't double anybody, and he's only focused on a leader, so he doesn't kill anybody else either. Okay. So the monk... The monk is going to... You know what? The monk's going to re-roll his die. Not great, but not terrible either. So the ninja's already taken out his... Taken out one of the leaders. So he's done there. Samurai is taking out a leader too, so we're going to leave the samurai where he is. Alright, so defeats a samurai... Defeats a leader. Defeats a 60s too. So two saves. They have to make two saves. One save. Oof! War Mechana. Oh, I need to reset his ability. Okay, so he's going to use his ability to reset. Yep, okay. And second save. All right, good. And counter roll. Four defeats four, doubles defeats two. Doubles, wow, that's a big roll. All right, refresh abilities and weapons. All right. Losing track of where those experience point tokens are. We'll just leave them three each. Morcan still has his one. Okay. <clears throat> Going to the fifth level of the delve. Oh, wait. Did I get a loot token? No. There's the loot tokens. They each get a loot token. One, two, three, and... Four. All right. Minions. Hazards. They roll up. And encounter rolls. Whew. Now I roll low when I'm in the upper levels of the dungeon, the delve, or the lower levels of the delve. We're gonna have to do some re rolls. I know we got doubles and stuff, but the monk re rolls. The ninja's gonna re roll. Oh, that's good. Samurai's gonna re roll. Not great. And the War Makana is going to re-roll. Ha! Huh. Well, that's ugly. Um, yeah, no, Samurai's not going to use his ability. The Monk... The Monk can take down one of these leaders to a four. Okay, so. Four defeats a four. Doubles defeats this. Doubles defeats that. And the other four defeats that. So they're down to two hazards. Only one save. And they are golden. Uh, encounter roll against the remaining minions. And uh, six defeats a six, three defeats a three, plus they have the backup on the doubles. So let's see if anybody gets a magic item. Yes, the ninja 
receives a potion. He's gonna give it to the War Mechana. Gives that potion to the War Mechana. Okay, reset abilities and weapons. Alrighty, and then they go into the sixth and final level of this fifth delve. and a six and a three. So the War Makana is going to use his ability to re-roll. That came in handy, kind of. The ninja automatically slays a leader. Used his ability. The monk can turn one of these guys down to a five using his ability. And I think... That's pretty good. So doubles defeats this six, five defeats that five, four defeats that four. They only have to make one save. Oof, the ninja fails. The ninja's gonna use an experience point token to reroll and does fine. Okay. Encounter roll. Boom. Um. Okay, encounter roll. So, five defeats a five. Hmm. Samurai's gonna re-roll. Does it. All right, so they take them out. Now they move on to the final. Oh, everybody gets a loot token. Oh, they only got three. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because somebody found a potion, right? All right. So, into the final level to delve unless unless I'm redoing this somehow. Uh, I'm just making it harder on myself, I think. It's okay. It's okay. For some reason, I'm having a hard time tracking this game. I don't know why. I need to have one that tracks the levels. Uh, anyway, I thought the leaders would do that for me, but okay. No, I'm pretty good, though. We're at one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing this right. Okay, encounter roll. Oof. War is going to keep his roll. Ninja's going to re -roll, Or the uh, monk is going to re-roll with his weapon. Ugh. And uh, Ninja's going to re-roll with his weapon. Oh, that's good. So he takes one of these guys out. Samurai is going to re-roll with his weapon. Not helping, kids. Not helping much at all. Yeah, wow, this is ugly. I guess the Makana. Makana's the only one keeping it. I guess. Oh, wow. Okay, so six defeats a six. And that's it. So they have to make two saves. Yikes. Two saves. First save. Second save. Oof. So that's the nin or samurai has to use the experience point token. He's fine. Alright. Counter roll. These are two fours. That's pretty good. I think we got it. Six defeats a six. Each of those fours defeats a four. And the doubles then defeats that one. They team up against that final one. All right, let's see if they get any magic items. They do not. So they get four more loot tokens. And now they are moving into the final delve of this campaign. All right, so we add yet another minion, or another leader, at every level of the final delve. We're gonna go shopping. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. You're gonna buy a potion. More potions, the better. I'm gonna give that potion to the samurai. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And another potion. And they're gonna give it to give it to the monk. Okay, so everybody has these guys are gonna have five. 
experience point tokens. The war mechanic gets another one. That's going to set him up pretty good for the final delve. We'll see what happens. Okay, they're geared up. And they head into the next delve. Whoa! Whoa! What a roll. Okay, so let's see what their encounter rolls can do for them on this one. All right, two, three, four, five, straight. Hmm. Well, not great. Uh, so Warmakan is going to reroll. That helpful. Samurai is going to reroll. Not as helpful, but still not too bad. That's doubles. The monk is going to reroll with his weapon. That helps a little bit. Wow, okay. I think that's what we're going to do. Samurai's, our ninja's going to keep it. All right, so doubles defeats one of these leaders. One defeats another one of the leaders. A six defeats a six. They have to make three saves. First save. Second save. Third save. Oof. So the War Makana is going to use his ability to re-roll his save. And he does. Okay. Once more into the encounter, kids. All right, so... I think we're at least taking them out. Samurai is going to turn his to a six. So one defeats a one, two defeat the other one, six defeats a six. Yeah, so we are at one save for everybody. Oof, 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 oof. So experience point token for the monk, experience point token for the war makana. And they both save. Okay. And an encounter. And the six takes out the six. The warmer kind of comes, swoops in, and takes out that last hazard. Okay, I'm gonna reset abilities and weapons, and then we're gonna roll this. Oh no, we're gonna get four loot tokens. One, two, three, four. That's how I'm tracking it by how many times I get loot tokens. All right, and we're in the second level of the final delve. Second level. Of the final delve. All right, two, three, four. Encounter roll. Hmm. hmm. It's gonna use a weapon to re-roll the Makana. Okay, it's a little better. The samurai is not going to use his ability. The ninja is uses weapon. Okay, that's not terrible. The monk could re-roll. Hmm. Whew, this will take the chance. So two defeats a two, doubles defeats another one, three defeats a three, and a four defeats a four. So they have to make three saves. Yikes. First save. Barely good. Second save. Oof. The ninja must use a experience point token to re-roll. And third save. All right. Encounter roll. Two defeats a two. Samurai's keeping his roll. The monk's going to re-roll with his weapon. Oh, perfect. Okay. That pretty much does it. These twos defeat the two. Doubles defeats that one. All right. Refresh weapons. Everybody gets their uh, loot token. It's the second level. Go to the third level of the sixth delve. They've had a few dings here and there, but overall they're pretty comfortable so far. A lot of threes. Encounter roll. Oof. Okay. <clears throat> Our right, ninja's gonna use his ability to re-roll. And he rolls a five. Samurai is tempted. He's got to, he got, they got to take out those leaders. So he's going to re-roll. Doesn't really help. Actually, it made it worse. The War Makana is keeping his roll. The Monk is going to re-roll, even though he's matching one of the hazards. He wants to take out the leaders. That's not, that will help a little bit. The Samurai will then use his ability to knock that one down. Hmm. 
guess they're going to go for it. I'm going to leave it where it is right now. So three defeats a three, two defeats a two, five defeats a five, and that's it. So they mean to make three saves. First save. So the monk must use an experience point token to reroll. Okay. Second save. Third save. Oof. So the samurai must make use an experience point token to re-roll the save, and he is fine. Once more, into the encounter. All right, that's not terrible. Samurai's ability. Ugh. The war makata is looking pretty good. All right, so they're going to take a little chance here. So doubles defeats a three, six defeats a six. That's it. So two saves. Here we go. <clears throat> First save. <clears throat> Samurai needs to use experience point token. Oh my gosh, needs to use another experience point token. All right, and second save. All right, good. Encounter roll, doubles. And the monk will turn one of these down to a two. So doubles defeats a three, two defeats a two. All right, good. Reset. Abilities. Samurai's not having great luck here, but he's okay. He's okay. We're okay. So they need to see if they find any magic items. And they do. The War Makana finds another potion. So he, he's just going to keep that potion. Okay. And now we're going to the fourth level of the delve. Oh, wait. Nobody else gets a loot token. So three loot tokens. And we go in the fourth level of the delve. See what we can see. All right. Counter roll. Hmm. The War Makana is going to use his weapon to re-roll, hoping to get four. Hmm. Well, that's not terrible. The Samurai, keep forgetting to set, reset their weapons. Samurai is going to re-roll. That's not terrible. Not terrible. The ninja's keeping his, and the monk is going to use his weapon, magic weapon, to re-roll. Same result. All right, so I guess we'll... Four defeats a four, doubles defeats another one. One defeats a one, six defeats a six. Okay, three saves. Here we go. One save. Ugh. The monk must use an experience point token to re-roll. Okay, two saves. And three saves. Oof, the monk again is taking some punishment from these guys. But he, oh my gosh, he needs to take another experience point roll. Okay, whew, he's having a tough time. Encounter roll. Okay. Ninja's going to use his ability to re-roll the die. Doesn't really help too much. Um... Yeah, so the samurai is going to take his roll, make it a five. So both these doubles take out the leader, and this five takes out the five. Okay, whew. All right, so that was the fourth level. Everybody gets a loot token. One, two, three, four. All right, and they go into the fifth level of the delve. The penultimate level of the delve. Let us see what we can see. Oof. Encounter roll. Yuck. That is terrible. So the monk's going to re-roll. The ninja's going to re-roll. The samurai's going to re-roll. And the makana's going to re-roll. All right, they used their magic weapons that I didn't reset from the last turn. So I just left them on their things. Well... This is semi-ugly. Semi-ugly. Yikes. Guess we're going to go with it. Doubles defeats a five. Five defeats a five. Three defeats a three. That's all they got. Three saves. Here we go. One save. The ninja must use a... 
Okay. Two saves. The samurai must use his final experience point. Three saves. Oof. Use a potion now for the reroll. Okay, he survives. Um, he's getting beat up. Encounter roll. I don't remember what this was, so I'll reroll it. There we go. Okay. All right, so that's good. Um, yeah, okay. So doubles defeats of five, five defeats of five, one defeats of one. They have to make one save. If So the ninja has to spend an experience point token. Okay, makes it. Now they go into an encounter roll, and boom, Samurai comes down on that hazard and takes it out. Each gets a loot token. And the final level of the final delve of the campaign. All right. Here we go. Counter roll. Monk likes his roll. I reset all their weapons. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay. Nobody else really likes her. So the War Makana is going to use his weapon to re-roll. Not bad, but not great either. The Samurai is going to re-roll. Mm, better, I guess. Ninja. See if he can take out a leader with a six roll. Nope. The Monk's keeping his. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. So the monk is going to turn one of these leaders to a five. S uh, samurai is going to turn his to a six. Not, not terrible. Okay, not terrible at all. So these sixes take out these sixes. These doubles take out this six. This five takes out this five, and this four doesn't take out anything. But at least it's only one save. Woo! Nice. Ugh, and the Warwick kind of has to use his experience point. Encounter roll. Six, five, and one. They take them out, and they are victorious. Let's see if they get magic items in case they go... Ooh! Well, that was fruitful. So uh, they get... They each get another potion. Nice. So the monk and the samurai end with potions. And if I were to take them into more encounters, which I probably will not... I mean, usually my, my campaigns top out at six for this game. Seems to be the sweet spot. So, thank you, Bob, so much for your designs. That was a lot of fun. I had a blast. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for the continued support of my channel. If this looks like a game you'd like to play, you can go up and download it as I pay what you want on uh, itch.io. Please just follow the link in the video. And uh, try it out for yourself. See if you like it. Also, you can join us over on the 4 Dice uh, Games fan page over on Facebook. Come on over, share your creations, uh, join in the conversation about these pretty fun little solo games. And if you uh, want, as some other fans of the channel have done, um, Chris and Todd, you can go up and make videos of you playing this game and share them with us uh, in the 4Games Fan or let me know and I'll post them up there myself. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, until next time, keep on rolling dice and playing games. Magehammer out.